Hi folks, with the cold weather that we've been having lately, I thought it was a good time to show how I can heat my small little desk area without um, worrying about plugging something in and forgetting that it's plugged in. Although you, with the candles you have to, pr you know, practice um, candle safety like you would any other time. Um, I found that a lot of these um, are done with two pots, but I don't find that necessary. Uh, this works without the second pot. Um, so the first thing you need is a clay pot and saucer. They need rocks. Um, I've epoxied these in place so they don't move. Um, and make sure that the area you've got isn't full of things that could catch fire because again it's candles. You're messing with, you know, playing with fire. The packages of tea lights, um, like 50 of them from Walmart, is like two bucks. Um, and you can get them unscented, and I prefer to have them unscented. <coughs> I prefer to do my scenting later. So, all you do is line the saucer with rocks, and they work as heat sinks, and then uh, light your candles. Uh, it's taking me a long time to light these candles. Hope I didn't get a bad bag. Okay, then you've got, whoops, you've got your candles and such in here. You put on the top pot, and the rocks allow some oxygen to get out so you don't snuff out your candle. This takes a little while to heat up, but once it does, the heat radiates, you know, from this pot. Um, if you don't want the heat to escape up, which it will do right away, take a small saucer, and I've got rocks in mind just because I don't want to add scent oil to the little saucer. I want to add it to the rocks. So when the rock heats up, it, um, it uh, smells really nice. So this um, will put out enough heat. It takes approximately a uh, half hour to get up to heat, um, which seems like a lot, but if you're only trying to heat a small little space, um, it's just about perfect. Uh, so that's how I do uh, my little heater area. Um, and I hope, hope this helps some of you. Just be very, very cautious with the candles. An added benefit of this is that my cat can't reach in and mess with the candles. Uh, it sets out a little bit of a glow, so if it's at night, it kind of looks nice if it's at night. Um, and yeah, that's that's how I do mine. I find this works for me. Other methods you can search on YouTube might work better for you. Um, but like I said, this works for me, and it's already starting to warm up here. So. Anyhow, that's how I do it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.